Okay, well, here's the 10 by 12 greenhouse. It's ready for filling up. As you can see, it's empty. So, got pretty good space in here. I put the, the fisheye lens on there just so that you can see everything inside. Anyway, we're gonna get started on building some benches to put the hydroponic system on. Okay, so we don't have anything screwed together, anything done. Just got a couple pieces of wood down and we're gonna do a quick run, see how it looks, and let's do it. Okay, so as you can see, um, got 11 buckets, they're all sitting good. I don't think that they're too crowded. I think that, you know, there's enough workspace on either side. Pretty much the back side is just gonna be used for any kind of plumbing if we decide. The front side is also gonna be used for plumbing. And then we just need to make sure to cover this pressure treated wood because I don't want any plants that are touching pressure treated wood. So we're gonna cover that with a little polyurethane and I think we're good to go. This can handle quite a bit of weight. So I think we'll be good with all the water and all the, all the situation. plastic sheets over the the tables and it's six millimeters so the so the plants don't touch the the pressure pressurized wood Just in case it goes too fast in time lapse. Anyway, we're just using a couple of these Simpson ties just to keep the two boards together. Um, they shouldn't fall apart. There's not going to be too much weight on either side, but California and earthquakes. Just in case we get some tremors, these will stop them from at least falling on the floor. All right, well, we've got uh, 22 buckets. I got 11 buckets on each side. They're all four gallon buckets. We got them off Uline.com. They ended up coming in 24 hours. It was pretty quick. Um, these are all food grade buckets. Remember to use food grade instead of just a regular bucket. You don't want leaching of any products into your food. So anyway, we've got 22 buckets and we're gonna start building the system. Pretty excited. All right, Jackson, go put the uh, lids, boom. So we ended up grabbing um, the lids to the buckets. We were originally gonna use the fancy uh, square lids with the basket tops on them for hydroponics, except during this quarantine time, um, just no supply unable. Some of the companies went out of business. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up popping holes in these and just putting uh, six or six inch or three inch bucket uh, baskets into the top. So we'll just cut them in and do it ourselves. All right, we talked about starting with the Dutch buckets. So in order to make a Dutch bucket, got your bucket, food grade, not gonna leach any chemicals into it, whatever size you choose. I went with a four gallon, ordered them off Uline like we talked about. Since I couldn't get the custom tops which come with a basket because of the quarantine process right now, I ended up ordering six inch baskets off of Amazon. I don't know, they're maybe about a buck a piece, two bucks a piece. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stencil a ring. Now to stencil the ring, you don't wanna stencil the ring the same size as the pot because the pot will drop through. So there is a lip on the pot. You have to find something, doesn't matter what, could be your foam roller, but it ends up being that the foam roller fits exactly right onto the top there, which means the lip will catch. So I will use that as my stencil. So 
foam rollers can be used for more than just rolling your back. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the drill. I'm gonna pop holes into all of these buckets and then I'll use the jigsaw to cut out the circles. Okay, so we had a bucket, got the lid, got the pots, made a circle or stencil. Then we popped in a pilot hole with a drill then we use the jigsaw to cut out the top and now it fits nice and flush and we're ready to figure out our water level and then we'll finish up all the tops, we'll finish up our water levels and then we will begin the PVC process. Hey guys, okay, I'm back again, and today we're gonna start putting together the deep water Dutch bucket system. So normally when you see a Dutch bucket system, you'll see a square bucket or you'll see a round bucket. Either way, it's a bucket. And you've got a hole down here. So you will see some form of PVC pipe for the drain coming out here. Now, using a siphon, that will give you a water level around this low. The problem is I'm going to be using these netting pots and what I would like to do is have a deep water system with much more water in the bucket. These are about four inches deep and if you see when I drop that into here this hole up here will allow the bottom inch or so to be into the net pot. When I throw this drainage tube in that will then give me the ability to have a deeper water, more nutrients in it sitting so that when these roots do grow all over the place in here, that'll give them much better nutrient uptake and it'll also be able to work uh, better at draining out the water from a higher level. Now, if you want to drain from a lower level, you can extend instead of just having an elbow, which as you can see, keeps the water level here, you can add a piece of PVC to go lower and then that will also drain you down to a lower level if you'd like. The opposite way is staying with that same Dutch bucket system hole down here much lower one or two inches off of the bottom and then reversing that situation and making your PVC pipe come up to the top. The problem with that is I don't want any leaks or anything happening here uh, at some point and then all of my water draining out and then all of these roots hanging in the air. So I'm gonna to attempt to use the net pot system and not use any guards or netting. I may decide to put a cover over the, over the outtake here, but I'm not gonna have a big netting sitting inside there. I want the roots to be free and to be able to be wherever they wanna be in that solution. So let's get started. All right, so sizing out the pipe is also an issue. So. I'm gonna have a drain outtake that comes along the edge of this table here. So I would like my buckets to be in the center of the table and that'll give me about five inches to come out and then down. And it'll also give me about a, um, I think it's about eight inches down to the bottom here. So what I've done was I took half inch uh, schedule 40 PVC made my five inch and then I gave myself a 10 inch piece here. And what I did was I just stuck a five eighths inch grommet around the end. And then I'll go ahead and pop that through this hole. And it's gonna take a little bit of force uh, to get them through. And that will allow the water to come out, siphon down into the drain. So let's get that going. Just really quickly also some tools that you'll need. You'll need some way of cutting the PVC pipe. I just grabbed one of these Husky PVC pipe cutters. I think it was eight bucks at Home Depot. Um, I've got a one inch drill bit, tape measure. And I find that instead of putting soap and oil and all these things on the grommets, which then ends up going into your, into your solution, 
uh, just use one of these to kind of push around the edge. All these grommets end up coming with, you know, the little double edge there. I don't know if you can see that, but this pushing on that, just kind of feed it all the way in. We'll pop it right through these buckets much easier. And then there's no chemicals. There's a real nice seal on there. So I'm going to get to it. Okay, so I guess there are some people like me who haven't cut very much PVC. Uh, this is a PVC cutter. I figured I would just orient you to it really quick. Uh, basically, it opens by popping it, super simple. You just right through the tube, super simple. Um, I know there's saws and there's electrical stuff, but just if you're just doing a few little things, it's really nice and handy to have one of these things. Uh, you get your line or your mark or wherever you want it to be. I know this is how long I want my extension pieces to be. So you just kind of line it up. And it's as simple as just cutting right through. So very simple, very easy, and uh, anybody can do that. Okay, the next part that we have to do is we have to get the drainage pipe, okay, which is going to go all the way along here, connected to the table. So before I mark out all of the spots, I'm actually going to fix it to the table, and then I'm going to mark the spots. That way I know exactly where they're going to be. So I'm going to use uh, two-inch galvanized tube straps, and that'll hold it right on. So now you can see that the drain spouts, the outtakes of each of the buckets lines up perfectly with the top of the pipe. So now I'm gonna go get a drill bit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes so that they can easily rest right into them. And then we will know exactly where the, they need to sit from now on. Now that we've got them drilled, I used a wood drill bit, as you noticed. Um, there are pipe fitting drill bits, but basically I made the drill bit, made the holes, it's all good. Um, I'm gonna just use a Dremel tool just to clean up the edges. You can use a file, sandpaper, uh, scratch it on a rock, whatever you want, but I'm just gonna use a Dremel tool, clean up the edges, and then we should be good to go. So now that we've got all of the holes made and we've got the edges all cleaned up, um, remember all of this debris is still inside this tube. So each one of these tubes I've blown out um, and cleaned out so that we don't end up plugging up the system later because we're going to end up putting in smaller outtakes that are going to go into each of these buckets and these little shavings will clog up the system. So this is going to get a little loud but I'm gonna use an air compressor and just blow it out. All right, so now that we have the ends all cleaned out, we can now get everything roughly lined up into each hole. And it should be pretty well set set up at this point it's great so the next phase is uh, get the plumbing into the reservoir and then we will work on the pump back out to the system wait 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 guys this is just a quick reminder make sure you hit that bell notification button and make sure you like and subscribe oh my god thank you